get into the elevator. I'd already, you know, I'm going to be wearing a specific outfit and everything. And you know, I mean, jewelry, stuff like that. Um, in my visualization that ultimately I wish to obtain because they were going to be trophies and mile markers of the success that I was seeking. I want to share something with you today that is very important for those looking to change their station in life, for those looking to rise up to higher ranks and to ultimately just be growing and becoming better. You need to be visualizing your end game, but not in a, in, in, in a lofty stance of like, you know what I mean? Hopes and dreams, but visualizing yourself actually there. Like you need to, you know what I mean? A really cool term that came into, came into my spectrum lately, listening to the change your paradigm, change your life by Bob Proctor is uh, his partner called visioneering. And it's something that she teaches in, in the seminars and stuff is visioneering. So it's ultimately creating your vision, but it's like you need to place yourself there. This might seem cliche to, you know what I mean, to some people who have other terms. I just want to drive it home, and especially for anybody who's not actually familiar with it already, is like you need to be visualizing yourself already in the places with the faces and in possession of the things that you wish you wish to ultimately obtain. And like, this is deep. Like there kind of isn't anybody experiencing success relative to my aims that hasn't, that it at least isn't like, you know I mean, sharing um, their successes and, and, and the systems and tactics and strategies that they utilize to get there. There kind of isn't anybody who hasn't spoken about visualization and the power of it. Like visualization is everything. And it's being able to place yourself already in the obtainment of it and feeling, feeling the feelings, um, feeling the gratitude, feeling the joy, feeling the fulfillment of having already obtained those goals. Like, very powerful. So I just want to share with you how it is that I actually personally do visualization for myself in the visioneering. And like, I started doing this before, you know what I mean, it, uh, a, a lot of, a lot of the, the tactical strategies in, in which that other people have shared that they utilize the visualizations. Um, I was doing this by myself. And like, I always love when something that I have implemented gets affirmed by somebody else that I really respect. Like, so what I do is um, in my old condo, I would go down, like I, I do this in a little bit of a diff different atmosphere, but like this is where I built the habit. So I'm just gonna share this with you. So what I would do is I would go down into the, con into the sauna in the basement of my condo. Now um, it's in its own room because there's like a male, a male change room and a female change room down in the condo and each have a sauna. Now I was very fortunate to kind of be like the only person who really frequented the sauna. I don't think I've ever actually seen another person in there. I, I spotted one other person that actually used the gym. She's now my assistant because I honestly never really, you know what I mean, ran into anybody because I, I was down there at like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, like very early because I start my day down there. I go down there and do my morning ritual. But um, so with, with the visualization, what I was doing is I would go down into the sauna and I would, um, I would turn out all the lights in the change room and then shut the door in the sauna. And it would almost serve as like a, a, a sensory deprivation chamber like there was no light there was no sound it was very you know what i mean closed off even if somebody was walking down the hall or something or getting on the elevator down the hall or like i wouldn't be able to hear them because like it almost served as like a sensory deprivation chamber which like i believe it's very important to to uh not have external sounds and things going on around you when you're really trying to fully place yourself into the visualization so what i did is i would go into that song i wouldn't turn the heat on or anything like i would just go in there shut all the doors, turn all the lights out. And I would sit in there and I would utilize something called binaural beats, which I'll probably end up doing a growth talk on binaural beats specifically, but I'll just do a quick synopsis. Binaural beats are, are set to frequencies, but they're two different frequencies. Like it's best to utilize them with headphones because it's two slightly different um, sounds of the same frequency playing in your ear, in, in the right and the left ear. And then what it does the, with the binaural beats is your brain naturally creates a third sound of those two sounds on the same frequency. It's 
really interesting stuff. Like if you don't know about Bonnaroo Beach, like I suggest going and looking into that. Very interesting. Um, but anyway, so for the sake of what I'm talking about with the visualization, I had a very specific binaural beat at a specific frequency that, you know what I mean, that really resonated with me and really kind of just kind of opened up my mind and, and got me into a place of expansion. So what I would do is I'd play the binaural beats, I would sit down and I would set it so that like, you know what I mean, the binaural beat was, you know what I mean, a certain duration. So like, say like 11 minutes long, like if I want to do 11 minute visualization. So the original visualization that I would do is, and it's very interesting because I now live where I was visualizing, but we'll get to that. So what I would do is I would place myself. So I, I went down and I studied the things I want to visualize, like the things that I ultimately wish to obtain, like the car that I wanted to drive, the, the, the building that I wanted to move into downtown Toronto. And like, I went in, I got an elevator. Um, I knew what the beep of the, of, of the button sounded like. I knew how, when the door closed, I knew the feeling of being an elevator. Um, I also went down into the underground and picked uh, a spot, which we'll get to, um, picked the, pick the parking spot for my visualization. And like, I knew what it was like to get off the elevator, go into that underground, feel like the, the cool and the dampness of the underground and everything and walk by the certain cars up to that parking spot. And then I would get into the car that I ultimately wanted for myself, which was the BMW M850i. And uh, so I also went and test drove that car. So I knew what it was like to start it up. I knew the, the rumble, the sound of the exhaust. I knew what the instrument panel, like on the dash, how it lit up, what it all looked like. Um, I knew what the leather felt like. I knew what it smelled like in there. So it's very key to, you know I mean, to definitely to be reaching out and kind of touching on the things that you wish to implement in these visualizations, but you can definitely do it from a place of imagination. Like, but I just went a little step deeper and I encourage you to do it if it's, if it's, if it's something that you can do. So I would literally my, in my visualization, I would get into the elevator. I'd already, you know, I mean, I'd be wearing a specific outfit and everything. And you know, I mean, jewelry, stuff like that. Um, in my visualization that ultimately I wish to obtain because they were going to be trophies and mile markers of the success that I was seeking jewelry, stuff like that. Um, in my visualization that ultimately I wish to obtain because they were going to be trophies and mile markers of the success that I was seeking. So I would get into the elevator. I would push P3. Um, I would go down. I would get off in my mind, mind you. This not physically anymore. I did it physically once, but then in the visualization, I would do it. I would get off the elevator. I would go out and I would walk over to the parking spot. I would unlock the car. I knew the beep of the unlocking. I would pop the trunk, put my bag in there. I would close the trunk, get in, start the car up and uh, drive up through the, two, the other two because there's five parking levels in my building. Um, so I would go from P3 all the way, you know what I mean, up to P1. You go out the private gate and then, you're, then you go through um, the visitor's parking part of the underground and then you go up out one more uh, spiral ramp and you come up out of the underground. And my visualization would just, visualization would just stop there. But I would literally do that in my head over and over and over and over and over every day, once a day, sometimes, sometimes in the morning. Um, but if I didn't do it in the morning, I would do it at night. Um, so I would literally do that same thing with repetition over and over and over and like feeling the feeling of like my butt sliding in the leather, the, the smell of that Napa leather in, in the BMW, the, the smell of the underground. Um, the, 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 the sound that the, the button made in the, in the, in the elevator, all while giving, uh, being gracious and, 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 and pres uh, giving gratitude for having those things in my life. And now I can say, which it's funny because like, I always intended to make a video on visualization prior, but I can now say I drive that car now and I live in that building now. So you know what I mean? This is no longer like some well wishes and like, hey, this might work. It, it works 1000%. So implement visualization or as I like the term now, visioneering your ideals, your success, your goals, your dreams, what you're working on. Like you're already there feeling the feelings and giving gratitude for having those things already in your life and they will come into your life. I promise you. As long as you're doing the work, you have to put in the work. But let's grow together.